What's going on, everybody? <laughs> what is up? It's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy. And welcome to all my subbies and guests. I love y'all so much. Thank you for the love and support. This reading is for Taurus. It is a general reading, and I hope I can provide some clarity, love, and light to you on your journeys. It is timeless. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell if it resonates. And it won't for everybody, and that's cool too. But let's get into it. What is going on, Taurus? What is up? I am here with a general reading for you, and we're just going to hop right in by getting the energy with my Fairy Oracle deck. And then we'll get into the tarot to get your message from spirit, okay? Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is the energy for Taurus at this time? Energy for Taurus, spirits. Seek your guidance, your love, and your divine clarity. So environmental awareness is in reverse. Perhaps you're not seeing something in your environment that Spirit's trying to tell you. Anything else for Taurus, Spirit? Romantic partner. Oh. Okay, Taurus. So something about your romantic partner. Something you're not seeing. Peace of mind at the end, Spirit. One more card for Taurus. One more card for Taurus, please. Thank you. Moving forward fearlessly. So the energy right now, really, we're going to have to get into it and just see, to be honest, because... I want to know about this environmental awareness in reverse. You know what I'm saying? Let me just clarify that. Can we clarify environmental awareness in reverse spirit? Ace of Cups in reverse. Charging forward but with the chariot. So you're not seeing something in regards to this relationship, Taurus. Um, we're going to get more into it by getting into your actual reading. Because, yeah, something is going on with a romantic relationship here. Something you need to move forward fearlessly in with or towards. But with the ace of the, the knight of wands, I mean, sorry, the knight of um, blah, 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 the knight of cups in reverse. To clarify the environmental awareness means like there may be some betrayal going on. Um, you know what, let's just get into it. Spirit, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is the message that you have for... Taurus. Hmm. This is for Taurus spirit. And this is for Taurus spirit. when I have to deliver like news like this okay so whatever whoever this is for right because it's definitely I feel like this is a very specific reading so if this isn't for you then it may not be for you but there is a Taurus out there that needs to hear this the relationship that you're involved in is over from what I can see here, right? The main energy is the Ace of Cups in reverse. There is no new beginning for this relationship. I do see that you are probably feeling this way as you may have been hiding it from yourself 
for a long time now. You know, you tried not to see it. You tried to avoid it right here as the Eight of Swords, right? She's surrounded by these swords. She's blindfolded. Her wrists are bound. However, they're not tied down to anything. The only thing that's stopping her is these swords that are surrounding her, and they're not even implanted in, in the ground, right? So she can free herself. And some of you are freeing yourselves to this realization. I do see that, right? I see you're broken up about this with the Queen of, of, of Cups in reverse. This is, you're sad about this. You wish it could be better. You, you thought that it would be fruitful. Here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you laid a, a foundation with this relationship. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to may, um, <clears throat> may have really poured into this relationship, a lot into this relationship, right? I do see that you are waiting. You've been waiting for change. You've been waiting for something to turn around for quite some time with the Three of Wands, right? You were waiting for marriage, for real true commitment. But this eight of Pent Ace of Pentacles isn't here, right? This Ace of Pentacles is not here. It is in reverse. So, and you're quickly realizing this with your partner at the bottom of the deck. Um, a lot of you stayed due to other people's opinions. Now you don't care about other people's opinions with this, um, with the Seven of Wands being in reverse, right? You used to have your back up against the wall about what people would think. Maybe you spent a lot of time in it. You didn't want to feel like you wasted your time. But you're now realizing that this is not where you want to be. You're realizing your worth as the Queen of Pentacles. You're realizing that you have enough to be passionate for. Like you're a passionate, fiery person. You're on fire for your life again. At least you're trying to get to this place, right? It's almost like you're looking back thinking like... You wanted to step forward from this. And I do feel like... You felt like this was your person. You felt like there was the Knight of so the Knight of Pentacles. They had everything that you wanted on paper, but I feel like something happened. You were giving too much to them, maybe not giving enough to yourself. You know, it stopped you from new beginnings, and you are ready for a new beginning with the Page of Cups here. So, let's get some romance angels. Can you clarify this reading with some romance angels? Romance angels, what is your advice in this situation? What do you have to say? Let's call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and that's a lot. I'll take some from the top. Yeah. Perhaps where you guys were engaged, you had gotten to the point where you're engaged. I felt like you guys had like gotten to the level almost marriage, right? Almost marriage. Um, however, forgiving and learning is in reverse, and I feel like perhaps whatever you guys went through together, you guys just haven't been able to move past it. May have stalled something. Yet yeah, there's some deception. It was deceiving. I am feeling some third party energy from it. As you can see, this person has a mask on, right? Maybe you both are lying to yourselves. Maybe you've you found them with someone else, right? Deception, cheating, right? They promised that they were going to be true to you, promised to you an engagement, you know? And we see here that this isn't um, going to be a start for you guys. New love in reverse. There's no new beginning, you guys. There was a lot of romantic feelings here. But even though you had a lot of romantic feelings, you're not into it. And you it's time for you to retreat. It's time for you to break up from this connection. Spirit wants you to know that you deserve love. Yeah. I wish I had better news. I feel like this is sad. I feel your sadness in this situation. Um, clarify deception, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, the offer was deception again they they deceived you about you being the only woman in their life you being the queen of cups in their life you know you're willing to let go again because spirit does have a new offer for you but it involves releasing this it 
it involves releasing this moving forward by forgiving and learning from this situation. But this whole energy is that this relationship is not going to move forward. And I'm sorry to tell you that because I do feel that energy of you guys really working hard towards it. Let's get some spiritual guidance for you guys. I'm getting the, spirit, the, the divine guidance deck. Spirit, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and <laughs> righteousness and truth. What is your divine guidance for Taurus in this situation? There's a kind of shadowy darkness to this card. Although there's a lot happening, it does kind of feel like a flame trying to be born. Um, the number 18, I'm not too sure about. I've just received this deck and I'm learning about numbers through them. So I'm going to read to you what it says. Okay, this is Wisdom Guide. This card is what it's called. Wisdom Guide is here to help you with taking in new information and teachings. Whether you are taking course, going back to school, or learning a new skill or craft, you will find that you are able to process and retain new information more easily. Wisdom Guide also helps you gain new insights and understanding through the intuitive channels, turning your knowledge into wisdom. And I feel like with this situation, you've learned a lot of wisdom, Taurus. You've, you've, you've learned a lot. You've grown a lot. And I think it's just sad that it just didn't happen the way that you thought it would be. But it's okay because spirit has an offer for you. There's something coming. All you have to do is let this go. Okay, Taurus? Just release it. You know, I know it's heartbreaking. But if you can release it, spirit has something coming in that is so much more amazing. All right, I'm going to leave this reading um, right there. Um, there will be no extension. Um... Please, if you'd like, leave an energetic tip by giving this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, click that bell so you know when I post a video, I post daily. Uh, donations are not required, but are available through the PayPal link in the description box below. Um, I love you. I believe in you. You've got this, okay? You really do. I know from what the energy I'm pulling, you may not feel that right now, but it is for your best. I love y'all. Feel better, and I'll talk to y'all soon.